Hello FCF. Uh, could be morning, could be afternoon, could be evening when you're watching this. It's actually kind of late in the evening when I'm doing this. Uh, anyway, glad to be with you once again. And uh, we've been talking a lot about waiting on the Lord, but I want to turn our attention slightly to dealing with their fears because this has been a situation that's caused people uh, a lot of fears. It's raised a lot of anxiety and worry. Sometimes the worry is about the present. Sometimes the worry is about the distant future. So we're going to concentrate for the next uh, five, six, maybe eight sessions or so on passages of Scripture that help us to cope with our fears. I want to start by reading verse uh, or Psalm 34 and to give you a little background because it's so interesting. Psalm 34 is written by King David, and the context is that he has fled from King Saul. King Saul is trying to kill him, and he'll have to stay on the run for about five years. It's gotten so bad that David has ran to the Philistines, who were the enemies of Israel. You recall he had killed Goliath, their champion. He's thinking that maybe he can blend in there, but they realize who he is, and then he realizes his life is in danger there too. So he literally has to fake that as though he were insane. If the scripture says he let spit dribble down his chin so that they would be disgusted with him and just cast him out of their country. They didn't have much of a patience with people with mental illness. So that's the context. David was hitting rock bottom. He had went from the pinnacle of power and prestige and popularity to rock bottom almost overnight uh, because of the jealousy of King Saul, because the people were praising David so much after having killed Goliath. All right, let me start reading in Psalm 34, and here's verse 4. David says, I sought the Lord's help, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my, and this next word is big for us, fears. I sought the Lord's help, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. If, if God can deliver David from all his fears, and he was on the run for his life, he certainly is able to, and desires to do the same for you and I. Let me go on. It says, Those who look to Him for help are happy. Their faces are not ashamed. This oppressed man cried out to the Lord, and the Lord heard. He saved him from all his, another key word, troubles. So two things. It says the Lord delivered him from all his fears. The Lord saved him from all his troubles. Now, you don't need to be saved from your trouble unless you're in trouble. Verse 8 adds this. It says, Taste and see that, excuse me, I, I skip verse 7. It says, the Lord's angel camps around the Lord's loyal followers. That's important. And he delivers them. The Lord's angel camps around the Lord's loyal followers and delivers them. Taste and see the Lord is good. Allow me to um, also read verse 17 through 19. David goes on. He says, the godly cry out and the Lord hears he saves them from all their troubles. Not some of their troubles, all their troubles. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He delivers those who are discouraged. The godly face many dangers, but the Lord saves them from each one of them. I want you to hear that last part again. The godly, this is the loyal followers of God, the godly face many dangers, but the Lord saves them from each one of them. So here we have David very confidently speaking from experience. Now, you have to understand, he's writing this psalm at a later period in his life. He's looking back, and he's saying that when he was in this dire situation where fear was overwhelming him, when his troubles looked, uh, you know, something that he could never be able to cope with, he learned to cry out to God, and that God not, not only saved him from his fear, so God, first of all, changed his interior climate, but then literally, eventually changed his circumstances. Now, you have to understand David's circumstances did not clear up the way that you and I might want them to or think they did for a long time. From here, he's got about another four years on the run. And so often, when God delivers us, rescues us from our troubles, it doesn't mean that life goes back to the way that we would want it to, but it does always go back to the way that God knows it needs to. So perhaps this situation has caused you to feel very fearful. There, there's a lot of reasons for fear. You might fear the lack of supplies. You might fear that your uh, job is not going to be there for you. You might fear that your savings are going to be completely exhausted. You might fear that there's some product that you need very badly and you just can't get it. Uh, you may fear that this is going to somehow disrupt some relationship in your life. Whatever the fear may be, 
We need to learn to do what David did. He cried out to God. That's just God, David's way of saying, I prayed. I poured out my heart. I told God what I was afraid of. I told him uh, when I was in trouble and needed his help. And he said that God ultimately always heard him. Now, again, God answers us in his way, and he answers us in his time. What I need to do, what we need to do, is learn to adjust our expectations to allow God to answer in the way that he chooses to answer. Because sometimes what that means is that he just gives us enough to endure and to stay calm and collected for the next half hour or hour or day. He might give us just the supplies we need for the day. He might give us um, just a, a, the hope that we need to endure for another week or two. So let's not expect uh, an instantaneous uh, restoration of things the way we would desire, but let's trust confidently that God can help us with our fears. He can help us in our troubles, and He does help us in our fears and troubles if we're willing to cry out to Him. Well, FCF, I hope this helps you, and if you're you know, in a state of fear or anxiety, worry, do what David did. He'll won't, he won't disappoint you. Now, you may have to do it many times a day, but God wants us to come to Him in those ways. So let me pray with you. Uh, Father, you, you know the people right today that are right on that edge where they're starting to feel overwhelmed by their fears. Maybe the isolation is starting to get to them. Um, maybe they're starting to wonder if their life will ever be the same. Maybe they're in need of supplies or they're wondering about their, their finances. You know their hearts. You know their circumstances. Please do for them, do for us all what you did for David. Deliver us first from our fears on that inward level. Let, deliver us that we won't be dominated by our fears. And then we pray that you'll intervene and change these circumstances we're in ultimately. We trust you to do what you did for David for each of us. We, th we do so in Christ's name. Amen. FCF, thank you so very much, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.